Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that come in here and they're looking to exercise their abs. Well, we just been looking through, we just recently got news of the American Council on Exercise did a study and they wanted to see what's the most effective ab exercise. So they did this with EMG and they connected people, you know, with the electrodes on their abs and they found out in this particular study by the American Council on Exercise that the bicycle crunch is the most effective exercise to hit that muscle activity for the abdominals. I got Dr. K here, so she's gonna help demonstrate so that way you know how to do it at home and, in, in, and put in this exercise in your repertoire of exercises for your abs. That way you can continue to move well, live well. So here we go with Dr. K. So she's gonna be on her back here just like this. You kind of see here she's on her back. Now the idea behind this here is she's on her back and she wants to go into a posterior pelvic tilt. So she's gonna basically smash her low back into the, into the ground here. So she's gonna go ahead and smash that into the ground. You can almost imagine like you have a weight pushing down onto your abdominal muscles. Perfect, yeah. So she's smashing that into her, um, the low back into the ground, into the mat. And then now she's gonna have her legs are gonna be starting here at like 90 degrees. And then now she's gonna go into, uh, one of her legs is gonna come out, there she goes. So her shoulders are now up off the ground and she's alternating, she's basically taking her one shoulder and going toward the opposite knee. So her right, so right now her, right shoulder toward her left knee, left shoulder toward her right knee, and vice versa. Start out with a set of 16, so that way you're getting kind of like eight reps for each side, so one set of 16, and start there, and then work up to three sets of, of 16, so you're getting both sides. So if you can see here, her shoulders are off the mat the whole time, and, uh, and you're always in that posterior pelvic tilt with the low back smashed up against the ground. And you can kind of see here too, she's not pushing on her head, she's just using her hands here to support her head and neck. She's not push, pull, you know, pulling her head with her hands or anything like that. Uh, essentially, the, the key here is keeping the abs um, engaged. engaged the whole time in that posterior pelvic tilt, low back smashed against the mat, and her shoulders are off the mat the entire time as she does this. So again, right, left shoulder onto the knee, right shoulder toward the opposite knee, just like that. So one set of 15 to start, work up to three sets of, uh, one set of 16 to start, that way it's even on both sides. You don't wanna be crooked. So uh, work up to three sets of 16, and man, this is a great exercise to add to your repertoire. I'll put a link in the study too by the American Council on Exercise on these uh, ab exercises and their effectiveness, so that way you can take a look at it as well. But anyway, we just wanna do a quick video to show you one of the best, if not the best, ab exercise that you can do to engage your abs that are better than sit-ups. Anyway, if you have any questions with this video, drop it off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Thanks, Dr. K, for uh, demonstrating that for us today. And, um, and share this with others. That way they can get the benefit of doing the best ab exercise there is out there, according to the study. So that way they can continue to move well, live well also. Also, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. It lets us know you care. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.